guys welcome back to a brand new video in today's video we're going to be checking out the amazon echo dot gen 4 edition now this is amazon's latest and greatest to the echo dot lineup and it's currently listed on their website for 49.99 link to that will be in the description Before we below. jump into the unboxing let's take a quick look at the packaging here we have a all blue box with black and white writing and a picture here of the newly designed echo dot I can't wait to check that out. On this side here, we have some features that the speaker will come with. We have the 3.5 millimeter jack, which is a surprisingly still included. Bluetooth, of course, hands-free with Alexa. And of course, you can mute and unmute your microphone. On this side here, we have some examples of what you can ask Alexa and some responses that she can possibly give you. And on this side here, we just have some more Amazon stuff. And that's pretty much the box, pretty clean and simple box, similar to the Echo Dot 3. In case you guys want to check out that video, link will be in the description below. Pretty cool video. All right, so one cool thing about these packaging, you don't need any type of knife. They make it simple and easy for you to open. You just pretty much pull the tab and the box opens up pretty easily. All right, so with the tab out of the way, let's pop it open. All right. Now, first thing you can tell, all brown. Now, this new Echo Dot is part of Amazon's, I guess, going green campaign where the packaging is 99% recyclable. So, shout out to Amazon for going green. Really appreciate that. All right, so we got the speaker right there. All right, let's lock this up. We'll throw this to the side right here. All right, now we have the power adapter right here and now it's similar actually it's not similar to the old one it's all white the echo dot 3 i believe came with a black adapter and the power piece right here was more square this is more rectangular but as long as you do the job i really wish it was black because you know this does hang when it's plugged in and you don't want it to get dirty but the white one why not pretty cool we have some instructions right here and hello hola bonjour you know some information you guys can go through and read that now let's take a look at the actual well the last one was a a hockey puck design this is more like an egg so now we have a a, a amazon egg i'm just gonna call it the amazon egg it's pretty funny but i think it suits it due to the design all right now this is pretty nice it's really really round on the first impression um yeah just it's pretty pretty damn round awesome all right so let's take a look at it so we have of course the power right here we have the power in right here and the the 3.5 millimeter in as well just in case you want to kick it old school then plug in a aux cord to run your music and now we have the actually let's put it flat and see how it looks okay pretty nice um i'm not a fan of this button layout it's kind of all the way in the back but of course we have the power up power down the mute and then this other button right here which i'm not quite sure what it is but we'll figure it out or maybe i'll just throw it up there all right it's nice simple looking speaker i'm gonna go ahead and get my echo dot 3 and we're gonna do a quick comparison so here's the echo dot 3 the hockey puck design compared to the newly echo dot 4 which i'm calling it the egg design now, I kind of like the button placement here better. See, it's just easier to reach when it's flat like this, opposed to this one right here. But I guess you can just feel it as they do protrude it out, opposed to it being flat like this. So you can kind of feel your way around once you get used to how your speaker is positioned in your room or wherever you're going to have it. All right. So, you know, not bad. I kind of dig the color. It's a kind of a blue grayish color. We have the nice fabric going all of the top right here. Pretty much the whole top of the speaker is covered in this fabric. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it up. Right, let's you know, I went ahead and plugged in a deep power cord. Let's go ahead and plug it into the dot and see what happens. All right, now quick note, the LED ring that was previously located on the top of the dot 3 it's now located at the bottom of the top four due to the design. Of course, they really can't place the ring at the top. So the obvious placement would be to put it at the bottom, which I'm, I'm pretty much okay with that. It doesn't really bother me at all. Um, so yeah, cool note. Now, while we wait for the Echo Dot to go into its setup mode, you want to go ahead and grab your smart device, go over to your app or Play Store, search for Amazon Alexa, 
that's the app logo download that and pretty much open it and that's what we're going to use to set up the echo now for some reason mine did not go into pairing mode instead alexa said this alexa sorry i'm having trouble understanding right now please try a little later Yep, so I was told to try again later. Now, on video right here, we're going to play around and see if we can somehow get it to work. Now, let's try by tapping maybe this button right here and see if this will somehow allow it to go into pairing mode. We're going to give it a double tap. Sorry, I'm having trouble nope. understanding right now. That did not work. Please try a little later. Let's try. As a matter of fact, we're going to turn it down a little bit. All right, let's try a long press and see if that will work. Now in setup mode. There we go. The instructions in your Alexa app. Awesome. So it seems like you have to long press this button that I didn't know what it did earlier in the video. And that will kind of force it into pairing mode. Now, once you have that orange light, you're good to go going to go ahead and grab my phone right here i have the alexa app open and uh there we go just like that it popped up you're going to go ahead and hit continue and just like that the echo should set up you might have to connect it to your wi-fi since it's the first time doing it let's see what happens there we go that's my wi-fi it's connecting all right, so at least now we know what this button does, or the purpose of that button. We're going to wait it out on video. You guys can go ahead and skip if you need to just skip along. And at last, it's all connected. Your Echo Dot is now connected. Go ahead and tap continue. Select, you know, which part of the house you're going to be using it. I'm just going to go ahead and skip for now and on the previous screen it did ask me for my address i just went ahead and blocked that out but you do have to select your address or you can skip that and then it takes you to this screen right here where you can either select home or work this is going to be used at home so you're going to go ahead and hit next and just like that your echo dot is now set up so you're going to hit done there we go and for me since this is my second dot it is labeled as anton second dot Alrighty, so let's go ahead and try it out. Now, this is the part of the video where you might want to go ahead and mute your Alexa because I will be saying Alexa a few times just to test it out. So let's test it out. Alexa, how are you doing today? Doing good, am I? Think baby Yoda adorable he is. This is the way. Well, that's kind of cool. She kind of spoke Yoda. <laughs> Alexa, volume 10. I believe it was currently at volume 5. Alexa, what's the weather today? Right now in South Richmond Hill, it's 74 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Today's forecast has lots of sun, with a high of 74 degrees and a low of 51 degrees. Alexa, what's the weather in Australia? Which city in Australia? Sydney. In Sydney, Australia, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit with intermittent clouds. Today, you can look for lots of clouds, with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 54 degrees. Alexa, what should I eat today? Okay, I recommend sugar-coated pecans from all recipes. What would you like? Start recipe. Send it to your phone? Or hear next recipe? Send to my phone. Okay, sent. To hear the instructions step by step, just ask me to start your recipe. And there you go. She sent the recipe. So that's pretty neat. Alexa works fine as always. Oh, now let's connect it to the Bluetooth and so we can play some copy, some non-copyrighted mu music on YouTube. Alexa, connect. Searching. I don't right. see anything to connect. Check the device you'd like to use and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. To set up a new device, go to your Alexa app. And there you go. So you basically just say Alexa connect 
as long as your Bluetooth is on, it should pop up like it is showing here on my iPhone. Then you go ahead and tap it. Now connected to Bluetooth. Just like that, we're now connected on Bluetooth. So I'm going to move this over to the side here and we're going to go over to YouTube. We're going to search some non-copyright music as we don't want to get copyrighted here on the video. And we're just going to play the best not there we go let's play these let's see how they sound balance team workloads and we'll move got on. some ads going try a sauna today all right there we go so the copyrights here on youtube in case you guys want to check it out this is the channel right here 1261 clan this is where I'm playing from okay so this is currently at volume 5 we're gonna go ahead and you know go up by 2 so Alexa volume 7 Alexa volume 7 Okay, I may have had it at volume 10. So we're just gonna go straight up to volume 10. Alexa, volume 10. Okay. Okay, so the phone volume wasn't maxed out, even though Alexa is. So we're gonna go ahead and max out the phone. pretty loud actually definitely like I mentioned earlier louder than at the echo dot 3 generation now let's say maybe you do have the echo dot 3 and you want to check that out I'll drop the video to that in the description below but definitely if you don't own the echo yet and you're in the market for one definitely check out this echo dot 4 generation so far it's worth it especially since this is one of the products in Amazon's Going Green line. I'll throw up the information somewhere on the screen. You guys can check that out. All right, we're gonna go it up again. with the new Echo Dot 4 Gen. I actually prefer this kind of egg design over the puck design on the Echo Dot 3. That's just my personal opinion. Comment down below. Do you guys prefer this design? Or do you prefer the older design on the Echo Dot 3? Yeah, comment down below what you guys think. Now, Amazon is going to be releasing a huge Echo. I believe it's like an Echo with a sub in it. I'm probably going to get my hands on that when it drops. So do stay tuned for that video. And with that, that's pretty much where we're going to end at this video of the Echo Dot 4 Gen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button so you can keep up on the new videos. And as always, thank you everybody. For watching and I'll see you in the next video.